getting tired of this question yet? I promise. This is the last one. Here's the fourth method by using the quadratic formula, which for some might be the easiest way to do it all. Okay, so remember the quadratic formula. Minus B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Here we go. Let's start substituting things in. Here's our A value. Here's our B value. Here's our C value. Okay? Easy peasy. Let's go to town. Okay? So minus B is minus 28, right? Plus or minus the square root of 28 squared minus 4 times A times C. Holy smokes. Over 2 times A. 2 times A is 2 times 3. All right. So do what's inside this bracket first. Let's bring up our calculator. Let's clear all the stuff out of the calculator here. Okay. And let's do what's inside that square root first. Okay. So there it is. 28 squared minus 4 times 3 times 9 gives you full 676. Let's take the, the square root of that. Second square root of the second answer boom gives us 26 so if you look here this whole mess right here this thing right here ends up being 26 so we've got minus 28 plus or minus 26 over 6. okay two questions 28 plus so minus 28 plus 26 works out to be minus 2 over 6 Minus 28 minus 26 ends up being minus 28 minus 26. Think about it. Minus 54 over 6. Well, wait a second. This can be reduced. That becomes minus 1 third. This can be reduced because 6 goes into minus 54. That becomes minus 9. And using the quadratic formula allows you to figure this out real quick like. So we've, oh, we've done this four different ways. And each one of the ways allows us to figure out exactly the proper roots. And if we could do a little finagling here and there, we can actually find out the factors as well. Well.